Madam Speaker, my district of Georgia back home, and the American people. I have been here a month and a day, and I have yet to meet my Democrat colleagues. I haven't the slightest idea why they wouldn't want to meet me. The only me they know is the one the media portrays me as. See, the big media companies take teeny fragments of words I say and make me out to be someone that I'm not. What you don't know about me is that I'm a proud wife and mother of three. And like many of you immigrants out there, I'm also the first in my family to graduate college. I never dreamed of being a political person until Donald J. Trump came along. I liked his plain talk. Not the offensive things about women, but just how he didn't know how to finish thoughts or sentences. I'm a successful business owner just like him. See, I know the art of the deal. The deal is, be white and rich, and you can achieve great things. When I heard the Russian collusion conspiracy theories, I realized I could not find the truth watching CNN or Fox News, so I did what any American would do. I went to Google, and I found out about QAnon and Pizzagate. But when I read misinformation about these theories, I stopped believing them. Just like when I hear theories about Matt Gates, when there are too many holes in the plot, I just stop believing. Since being elected for Congress, I have not said QAnon once, except for just right now and in a couple of tweets. These were words of the past, and they do not represent me, y'all, okay? I say this sincerely, I love America's kids, not the way pedophiles love them, I truly love them, the white ones I mean. I will not stand for abortion. We have vacuumed out 62 million fetuses. If we say in God we trust, how can we murder babies? We pay for a foster system that works great. Our children are our future, so long as I identify as male or female as God intended, and I should not be censored for saying that when Twitter is posting porn, we've got to do better. I know the fear that happens in school shootings, which is why we should not allow them to be unprotected. They should feel military-grade security every day. The first thing they should see when they're taking their books out of their lockers is a long, strong rifle. None of us are perfect. I'm a sinner, and that's why Jesus died on the cross for me. I want white Americans to have the American dream. That is what I ran for Congress on. Don't let the media divide us. They want you to hate a good Christian woman, and I just want what's best for our kids. The future is guns. I'm an idiot. Thank you.